Administration. Everyone is aware of the problems we face. This is Terry's attack. Correct, Mr. President? Yes, sir. Yeah, do not be disrespectful to the President of the United States. So, Mr. President, without further ado, would you like to give a statement for 30 seconds about what's happened? Me, Michelle, Hiller, and our daughter and our puppy are doing great in the secret bunker. I can't hear you. Okay, that's fine. So, if you would like you know, like everyone know, they're doing great. So, we have the Secretary of Defense. What would you like the President to know? What would you like him to do? The president says that they already know where they are. So, what would you like the action to do then if they know where they are? So, we move forward to blow them up. No, but like, excuse me, there's only two people we talk right now. The president may speak when he pleases. is not enough. They want 100% guaranteed. Secretary of State, what would you like to say to the President? Um, Secretary of State? Um, Ms. Hill, you say we go and find out where they are, and if the Senate already know where they are, we should go and not blow them up, but let's just take out the Secretary of State. I have a question for you too. Do you expect President to study <laughs> so, you're suggesting that we go into Saudi Arabia, maybe we send a smaller team? Yes. So they're suggesting a smaller team to go and take out just the leaders, or? Or So again, the only way this can work is if you guys listen to the people who are talking. So they're saying, find the people with the intel, find the people who know what's going on, and take them out, or take their intel, so we can be completely informed on what's actually happening. So, the Secretary of State does not want to go on full-scale attack yet. The Secretary of State wants... Take the leader hostage. <laughs> we're going to go over taking the leader hostage. Okay, so we're moving up a little bit, but... Does the media have any questions so far? Nope. <laughs> Apparently they're okay with what you're talking about so far? Yeah. I don't want to bomb somebody. Bomb. <laughs> so, part of the, me the media is just wondering why we don't just eradicate the two countries. Secretary of State, any response? Uh, Bobby, like, in a war, and we don't want war, we want kind of like a peaceful. Okay. Do you believe war will result in more war? But the media says they obviously don't want peace if they're trying to kill us. I'm addressing the Secretary of State. Only the President can speak above me. I think as me as a president, I believe that they're just trying to cause more conflict within us. They know they can do this to us, they know our country, they're trying to know our country part of We stick together as Americans. And handle this problem, we can all be good. Tell Saudi Arabia, I think we should make an example out of the Yemen for knowing what they did to us and make an example out of them. We can make a trial, sorry. They can put them in prison, do what we gotta do with them. So the CIA agrees, it sounds like. Oh, we have many people here. CIA, go ahead and explain your point. Direct to the CIA. Oh, good. Also, physically harm them until they answer. We'll be filled with no 
<laughs> so, you are just an advisor. Yeah. You're just an advisor. I, think, I, I believe that we used to open that one prison and try to go bay again. But one time, obey. Whatever it is, I know what it was. I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should open that and start interrogating. I mean, like, they're going to play with us, we're going to play with them, we're going to torch it them, we're going to pull out teeth. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Amen. The president's obviously very good, but it's a good one to lay down the law. Now, Mr. President, first we'll talk to the FBI, and then we'll talk to the group that was responsible for making sure the homeland stayed safe. We'll have to have a little discussion with them. But first, the FBI, what do you have to say? Well, we also thought the torture would be a great way to get out of this belief in land, psychologically, our life, the families. Until they <laughs> okay. So the FBI wants to go after their families. They want to torture. Who would you have in charge of that? Hold on. Hold on. Have me do it. Who would you have in charge of that? Uh, I'd probably be the most probably cutthroat guy in the military to handle it. Okay, so someone from the military. Mr. President? My advisor told me we should not speak over the President of the United States. Uh, my advisor said we should not speak to their level. That's too petty to and go for their family, but their family didn't know what they're probably doing and left them with a bar. So I think that would be very childish of us as Americans to go for their family if we know who did it. You're saying go for the people, but do not go for their families. Is that really Yes, ma'am, the secretary. Isn't it childish of us to go and join No, it's not. Thank you. The president has spoken. Go ahead. Can't hear you say no. Go ahead. Let her finish what she's to say, but go ahead. Isn't it childish for us to his leadership that's his role I guess it's up to him okay so it's up to him so let's hear from the last group Homeland Security the group that uh, may have let us down a little bit here hopefully they can try and save little face mr. president would you like to address Homeland Security first <laughs> All right, so you're doing a week without pay but you were still expected to come up with excellent choices 
<laughs> what do you believe the president needs to know? <laughs> okay, <laughs> we made a mistake. Well, it's been, it's been ten years since, like those last, since we've been created. So we're still kind of new to this. And we have a plan to secure our borders, ground all aircraft, secure ports, railways, any way of getting into the United States. We're just like closed down. It happened in the airport. It happened in a railway. Exactly, that's why we're closing off all the board drives. Closing off board drives, I don't see no ships, no ships, like I keep coming. We're closing off planes, too. Dropping aircraft. They're proposing, they're proposing. So they're proposing, hold on. So that's what they're trying to get, that's what they're trying to cancel. Hold on. So, that's kind of what they're proposing, though. So closing out airplanes, Mr. President, do you agree or disagree we should stop air flight traffic in and out of the country? Should not do that. So, okay, so it says not that serious. There's not. So we're looking for. Hold on. So we're open up to the floor for discussion now. You have to raise your hand still. What do you guys think? Do you think the plan we're heading towards right now will be successful or not? Do you think we're ready? Raise your hand. Explain why. So, Jalen, go ahead. So we already have. We already have steps to order for not to be on the If you remember 9-11. After 9-11, you can't bring nothing on the plane no more like that. Yeah, but they do. The CIA director, they can't do it. But how did the people that family terrorist attacks said, like, went through and then didn't, like, they can stop the bombs from coming in and stuff like that, but they can't just stop the terrorists. They can't be like, oh, we know you're I know how much money you lose if you start doing all these regulations and stuff. You know how much money you have to cost for the argument there. I'm trying to think about the easiest way that we can go in there and take them out and bring them here. You do all this extra stuff, you don't have to pay workers. Buy more equipment and all that more time. Alright, Homeland Security, I'd like to inform you a little more on what's going on as well. Go ahead, Homeland Security.
I know they're going to get the fucking one. You guys have good ideas, but that's why we tried to move you out of the class. Otherwise, you got mad questions. Yes, sir. So the president decided to go with the one half of the CIA that decided that we need to go and attack. We need to go and go ahead of the schedule and we need to be preemptive and try and get catch up for what might happen later. So you have two minutes left either as homework or you can do it now, but you're going to hand it tomorrow the bottom box. Did the president go with your plan? Why or why not? It's generally what that bottom box says. <laughs> Even the media had an opinion. Did he go with your opinion? Why or why not? Yeah, so you got to go on this box.